Hey, what's up guys? It's Guillermo Auto. Got a 2004 Mercedes SL500 with a really squeaky brake pedal. Every time I hit the brakes, it uh, just squeaks. It's coming from the inside of the car, so I'm going to show you what I did to get rid of it. First, uh, come over here, and I'm going to let you hear the squeak. Let me see. Okay, we got to get under here, so you want to take these screws off. And uh, I'll hit. I'll make that squeak sound again to make to show you guys again. But yeah, you gotta take these screws off. They're uh, Torx T20. There should be three of them, I believe. And you don't gotta get this whole panel off. We just gotta open it up a little bit. Uh, basically, you, there's one right here, one right here, I believe, and then there's one over here. The, my middle one was missing, so I don't know if it was Torx. You can leave this DLC alone. So we just gotta pull this open a little bit. You can remove the whole thing if you want. But um, what I'm going for is this switch over here called the brake pedal switch or the brake light switch this comes out push the tab and then twist it upwards i believe and it comes right out so push that tab down and then you could turn it and then pull it straight out yeah so just push the tab and then turn your hand it'll come out um and then here's the part that makes a squeaky noise i'll show you uh you can unplug it i'll show you how to unplug it in a minute let's take a listen to this sound see if it's the same one you got So every time you hit the brake pedal, that's what it's moving. You could try to hit your pedal and see if that's disconnected and the noise goes away, then you know it's your brake light switch. Sometimes you have to replace these, but in this instance, I'm going to try to fix it. Um, so disconnect this, squeeze the tabs on the sides of these two connectors and then pull them up. Um, the white connector and black, they seem identical. And there's a green dot on the um, brake light switch on mine. And so the green dot is where I know my white one goes. If you don't have a marking on yours, maybe you should make one so you know where the white and black go. But anyways, here's the noise. Okay, so I got some white lithium grease. I'm going to spray that beige part of it, the beige or like rod part of it. Just get some grease on there. Uh, I didn't mean to put that much, <laughs> but uh, let's rub this on here. I got some gloves. I'm just going to rub it, coat it, and then I'm going to push this until it goes away. Okay guys, so the noise is pretty much gone away. It's pretty quiet now. Um, you could try different greases. You don't have to use white lithium grease. That's just what I had. So now that that's not making any more noise, we're gonna put it back in. I recommend plugging the connectors back in it first before you uh, put it in there. I just, for me, that was easier. You could do it the opposite if you want. So I got these connectors in here and remember the white connector goes to the side with the green dot. If yours doesn't have dots, you can put them on there. And so just put it in. Uh, basically what you do is you put it in and then you twist it to the left and then that tab should lock. Put it in with the tab on top, like the 12 o'clock, and then turn it left towards the, the nine o'clock and it should lock in place. And then um, push your pedal with your hand and see if the noise went away. Get this panel back in, put these, uh, these bolts back in, not too tight. And that's it guys. So any, form, any more information in the comments is appreciated. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next video. And I hope this video, video helped you guys out.